I like to describe it as like a kind of an all-around game. Um, I like to get at it at both ends. Offensively, I'm going to do everything within the offense. Um, you know, I like to make plays off the dribble uh, for myself, come off screens, ready to shoot. Um, defensively, I like to just kind of bring a lot of energy. Um, I, I'm pretty like I'm a pretty emotional player. Uh, I have a lot of fun when I play. Uh, I'm just really, I just like to show my emotions and kind of be that, I don't know, be that guy that teams don't really like to play against. He's just going to keep getting better. He's terrific right now, but he, he prepares in the off season, he prepares in season. He killed it in the weight room the year he sat out and really changed his body. He came in as a young skinny kid and this year, you know, he got himself up to 200 pounds and really put together and that enables him not only to compete defensively, but to sustain effort at both ends of the floor for the entire four months. You know, you're a basketball player, you're a gamer, you want to play. Um, you know, you're sitting on the bench all year. Um, you know, you don't get a lot of the, the same kind of stuff that everyone else gets, but it's a good, it was a good decision for me um, just to kind of take a year off, um, learn what was going on, learn the offense, learn the defense, uh, just get with Maxwell and get stronger, and then have as much time as I need to get in the gym. And I think that retro year really paid off. You know, the first time I saw him, I saw him in AAU. And I saw him play against Tyler Hero, who's obviously one of the best rookies in the NBA. And he got 23, and was really impressive. And uh, I knew right then that I wanted him to be a Hawk. He's awesome. You know, I've known Coach for a really long time. He coached my uncle in Notre Dame, so I've always, I've always had like kind of a relationship with him. But being able to play for him now has just been really awesome for me. You know, I'm learning a lot of great things from him. I, I want to be a college coach, and he's one of the best. So I'm learning a lot of new things from him, um, and the way he instills confidence in his players, and just kind of gives free range to do it, just to go play. Um, he's a great coach, and. Um, I'm excited to be playing for him, and I'm learning a lot from him. Here is uh, C.J. Frederick, curls in a three. He's a winner. He's a guy that plays both ends of the floor. He makes tough shots under pressure. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's a fierce competitor who has that clutch gene that you need. He's got the complete green light. He could take 20 shots if he wants, as far as I'm concerned. And he makes great decisions on when to go, when not to go. I've been playing this game since I was a little kid, and uh, I've been dreaming of this moment since I was a little kid, just to play college basketball. And, um, you know, just to be starting here, um, playing in front of these great fans every, every game, um, it's awesome. Uh, all the hard work that I did last year is starting to pay off, and uh, it's just a, it's a, cool, it's a cool and special environment. The Heartland is brought to you by Mediacom. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme. Feel the power of amazingly fast internet up to one gig. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. It's Big Ten basketball from Carver Hawkeye Arena. Gary Dolphin joined as always by former Hawkeye and NBA star Bobby Hansen. And who knows better than Bobby over the course of a 30 game collegiate schedule. You have a clunker every now and then. Iowa had theirs at Purdue losing 104 68 on Wednesday. And Bobby as you like to say it's one loss. Don't let it turn into two. The Hawks didn't shoot the ball very well. Didn't guard well and they got out rebounded. Case closed. Let's move on. Let's throw the ball up and play. Now to Connor McCaffrey with 10 to shoot. Drop step Garza, shot good off the glass. Here's Toussaint, heading all the way. Throws into the corner to McCaffrey, his three good. Rattled it in. Connor puts the three fingers up, and Iowa's on top, seven to two. Yeah, good looking shot by Connor. Got the best of him. Here's Frederick driving inside, stumbles to the paint, gets rid of the ball. Garza's open on the wing for three, good again. Hawks are alert going after all the loose balls. McCaffrey open for another look, gets it. Timeout. Fred Hoiberg has to get a timeout. Little different start tonight than at Mackey Arena. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, again, it's a tremendous amount of confidence. 
C.J. Frederick with a shot fake. Skip pass right of the lane to Garza. He hits a step back 17-footer. Hawks on fire. Six of eight. That's 75%. Two shots open. Joe hits the jumper. They backed off him left of the key about 18 feet. He says, thank you very much. Here's Garza dribbling, throws to the wing. C.J.'s open for three. Yes, sir. Hawks with four triples to start the game. 15-18 to play. Here's a pass inside to Garza, dunks it through. Actually, it was intended for Wieskamp. Fired a pass inside, it deflected right to Luca, and he jams it in there. Hawks 23, Nebraska 9. Wieskamp around a screen by Creener. Jump shot good off the glass. Solid screen by Ryan, and Wieskamp with the basket. Here's Toussaint to Garza. He's double teamed by two guards. Into the corner, it goes to Wieskamp. He drives in, lays it up and in. Joe says, get out of my way. Here I come. T Toussaint drives it to the basket, throws to the corner to McCaffrey. His three is good. Joe Toussaint with the dagger of a drive, found a wide open teammate. Joe takes a peek inside, gets a screen from Garza, throws up a jump shot, good. Well executed. Nice play and a good screen set by Luca Garza. Joe just jumped behind it. They're not respecting his jumper and he made him pay. 10 seconds to go in the half. To Connor McCaffrey, top of the circle. Ooh, he had guards open, missed him. Three to shoot. CJ forces it up. Good at the buzzer. Just like McCaffrey drew it up. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Frederick skips a pass right of the lane to Garza. He bangs into uh, Drago and hits a cutting Joe Wieskamp for a dunk. I mean, a monster dunk. Nebraska defender Hanif Cheatham got out of his way. He knew Joe was going to bring the house down. Here's Tucson back for the Hawks. Off the glass, no good. Garza with a putback. Weak side rebound and a stick back. Luca's got 17. Cross turns it over. Hawks running. Wieskamp to the basket. Left handed layup. Good. Off the glass. Joe Wieskamp has taken this game over. Hawks are up tempoing. Tucson all the way. Lays it up and in. His fingernails were above the iron. Hawks up 20, 58-38, and looking to add to that. Here's Garza with a catch, and he goes for the dunk. Torb Yarnison went for the steal. Luca had a free run to the basket, and it's 60 to 38. Here's Tucson. Wieskamp, 4-3, good. Here's Wieskamp scoring again. Iowa was so good on that out of bounds play. Get the little wheel route going out top of the key and Joe was the second or third man to cut through, and Toussaint got on the ball. He laid it up and in, got fouled. He has 19 second-half points. Kari Evelyn bounces for Wieskamp. Center of the floor for Garza. His three is good. My, oh, my, oh, my. Stuck on automatic. The Hawkeyes can't miss. That's almost an 80% shooting here in the second half. 72 to 40. And the Hawkeyes get it back. Austin Ash, a step back three. It's good. He can shoot. He can shoot. He's right. <laughs> he's got a funny little corkscrew release, but uh, he's got a great eye and nothing but the bottom of the net. Ash for three more. Yes, sir. He buried it. Shot putted from his right hip, and down through it went. I call him the secret weapon. That'll be it. Final score, Iowa 96, Nebraska 72. Big, solid win for the Hawks. Yeah, real good win. Bounce back win for the Hawkeyes after Purdue and uh, Hawkeyes now sitting there solidly at eight and five. It feels good to bounce back after the game on Sunday when we just didn't feel like we gave it our best performance. Um, but obviously it's nice to have Monica a little healthier, a uh, big difference maker for us. Um, but then also just to, you know, level the playing field with Nebraska, you know, it was as we went over there and lost. So now it's nice to, to be able to get even the score on that. Um, Doyle, you know, 15 assists tonight. That's outstanding. Taking away her drive and, she, and she's so good going downhill. But, um, you know, they just took away the drive and she found the assists and it's nice to see her getting a double double amanda had a double double uh, with points and rebounds so that continues to be great and again just really nice to have uh, monica back i think both teams were playing well defensively to start the game and there wasn't many stoppage or stoppage of play so it was just kind of tiring out there um, but i think both teams are just trying to get their legs under them and um, eventually it settled down but yeah it was definitely a struggle to start 
You know, uh, we were trying to mix up our defenses a little bit to keep them off track, but I thought our three-point defense was really good tonight. And we held them to about 10% below what they usually shoot. And we shot the ball a whole lot better than we did over at their place. And also did a great job keeping them off the boards. I mean, we out-rebounded them. Uh, that's something we've been stressing a lot and really glad to see us get those extra possessions. I'm really proud of my team. We definitely found some open people, hit down some open shots that really changed the course of the game. Um, but I'm even more proud of us on defense. I think that we were all moving really well, um, talking really well, and I think that's what gave us the outcome we got today. You know, Sam was so good at beating people and then and then finding where the help came from. And with this offense, it takes a little bit of time to make those kind of reads. And, and I think the more we do it, the far, you know, the longer we go in the season, we're getting better at it. And that's what Doyle's seeing right now is she's, you know, she's able to drive, figure out where that help defense is, and and be able to make that pass. So that's very Samish. Just <laughs> Iowa and Purdue as starters are about to be introduced and as we talked before this is not an easy place to play i thought this is a great win for us especially we got down early you know harden comes out hits three threes in about the first three or four minutes and then it's pretty quiet after that i thought our defense in the second quarter was outstanding um, i love to see 23 assists on only 10 turnovers and then we shot the ball well really well from every area except for the free throw line. It's just really nice to be able to bounce back on the road after a tough loss at Michigan. So um, I think we gained a lot of confidence in ourselves tonight and we really um, did a good job of maintaining our composure um, when the game got within two points there, I think at the start of the fourth quarter. So I'm just really proud of our effort tonight. I'm really proud of how we fought. Uh, they came back at us in that third quarter and we did a good job of staying composed on the road and really staying together and just keep pushing. And we really executed well down the stretch. I think especially on the road, defense is so important because you never really know how your shooting's going to be um, at another gym. So we just really came out focusing on defense and um, we just worked really hard and we rebounded really well and um, Amanda had a few blocks in there so it was really great to see that. Yeah, it was really fun. People were really getting after it on defense and playing aggressive in those passing lanes so we were really disrupting them and I think I'm really proud of how we did that. I thought it was tremendous. I thought that our, our seniors really did a great job of maintaining their composure. Uh, when they got within two, um, and, and then uh, again, just some really great effort by, I mean, I thought Mac attacked the, the whole, hole really well. Kathleen hit some just dagger threes and at the end of the shot clock for us. I thought we had great clock management. Monica goes 10 for 11 from the field. Uh, Amanda, again, 12 rebounds, uh, three block shots, and we hold Harris to like seven rebounds and eight points. So uh, I, I thought just a really good game. We had 46 paint points. Those are high percentage points. Good evening. Welcome into Chrysler Arena as we get ready for the final road match. Spencer hits a shot from a ways away there, but he comes up in the air with it, turns in, makes it look easy for wow. that takedown. The guy was, you know, a little bit different match for Spencer. And a year ago, I don't know if he would have handled it as well as he did. There's a shot right by there Carter by, Happel for yeah. two. Nice shot right there by Carter Happel as a finish this. Trying finish to drive this on through. We're right down on the edge. Ah. Now Mateen trying to there drive through us, and we do a good job and throw the leg up. We got the W there. We we needed it as a team. Here comes a big match here to 149 pounds. Second ranked Pat Lugo for the Hawkeyes. Number nine, Keenan Store. 12 and 2 record for the senior. As Lugo got to his feet, it's the escape. Get him flattened back out to his belly here. Forward pressure, forward pressure. I don't like him going over the arm. I want to stay behind the arm. That is got the end of the match, so Lugo will win by a score of 2-0. to Fifth-ranked Caleb Young for the Hawkeyes, taking on number nine, Will Luan. He's got to be a little bit more aggressive on a Nice setup. double leg, picks him up, dumps him down, hooks the leg for two. We hip into him. See that? Luan That's trying to hip into us. This. We're rolling through, and we come out with two. Coach is stressed, finishing fast. Um, it's advantageous for us because we get those points on the board. We can start building our riding time. And uh, we're not giving, giving the other guy opportunities to crank on our knees, our shoulders, our necks, you know. I think we can score more points. Uh, we had two top ten wins where, you know, one more takedown probably cracks the nut there. Get ready for 184 pounds. Cash Wilkie getting the nod for the Hawkeyes. Dude, just got to explode up, but he's got to have hand control before he gets up to his feet. Look at that, just like that. There's his one point escape. Good job. And then he gets in on a low single. Comes up around behind the hips for the two. That was fantastic. Good wrestling by Cash Wilkie right there. Wilkie picks him up and nice. throws him down. See how awesome Wilkie that was? Wilkie picks him up, switched in midair to the left hip, and then threw him down. The final score, 27 to 9 in favor of the Hawkeyes. The Heartland is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. 
Avoid breakdowns in coverage with U.S. Cellular. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Hy-Vee proudly supports the Iowa Hawkeyes. As is one day, I told my dad, hey man, I want to get a tattoo. He's like, all right, let's go. And, I, and um, so we were like, we were talking about it for a little bit. And I was like, I'm going to get a half a sleeve. That's what I was thinking, right? And then my dad was like, why don't you just get the full sleeve? I was like, well, it kind of caught me off guard a little bit. But you know, it is what it is. I started off, I, I'm actually the one who got it first. And then my dad followed and then my little brother followed. Just something, you know, a part of our heritage. And you know, something that we, we uh, really take pride in. Pat's family is very important to him, and he's very important to his family. His mom, Julie, his dad, Pat. Th this kid means a lot to his family, and this sport means a lot to this family. The way I got um, introduced was my father used to wrestle in high school. He wrestled for probably like two, three years in high school, and then um, like while I was growing up, I started wrestling when I was four years old. He just brought me into it. There's always good wrestlers. Um, in, in a state. There's one or two good wrestlers in every state. South Florida, you know, has a club that they work very hard, and that's where Pat Lugo, you know, cut his teeth along with, you know, his brothers and, and with his dad. Back in the days, uh, wrestling, wrestling scene wasn't that big in Florida, um, especially down south. I coached football at a community park, and that's how I started bringing in kids to the, to the club. When we started the club, we only had a few, but then we had some other friends that um, had a um, business, so we kind of picked up some sponsorship. It was it was kind of hard to raise money, like, you know, to start a club and stuff like that, but, you know, we're doing stuff like car washes and, um, you know, just ask for people money, like, at, like, football games and stuff like that. So it was definitely a work in progress. Yeah, I mean, I remember one time we wrestled outside, it was like, and uh, man, the match was hot. Like it was like hot, hot. And I was like, man, can't be on the on the mat. So I just, I don't know. It was just hot. It was hot, uh, hot mat, and try to end the match as quick as possible. It's probably it's not the number one sport. You know, you got football, you got baseball, stuff like that. People like to be more outside when it's hot. Yeah, it's not as big as a, a state like Pennsylvania or Ohio, but it's definitely growing. I think once we travel out of the state, like to um, you know, up northern. Um, Iowa, Wisconsin, um, Texas, we went out to other states. It was a little bit harder. You know, we weren't doing as good as we wanted to do until he got a little bit older. And you know, but he was always very tough and competitive. Family comes first to me, so um, I talk to my family every day, whether it's my sister, my brothers, or my mom and dad. I got family here, man. This is my new home. You know, Florida is what raised me, and Iowa is kind of what made me. So, yeah, I mean, I got these are my brothers. I got brothers here. I got. Tom, Terry, Morningstar, you know, those, kind, those guys are kind of like father figures to me. So it's, like I said, family's important to me and I treat these guys here like family. Yeah, just being independent, being more mature, just growing, growing as a person, as a, as a young adult. And um, I think wrestling here at Iowa has really helped me with all that stuff. It's just so important, so proud of him. I mean, he's accomplishing everything that, um, that I couldn't do. You know, I mean, I wish I could have done and he's doing it, and um, you know, everybody, the whole family, and everybody back at home in South Florida, we're all super excited and proud of him. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team by raising money for every free throw made by the Hawks all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds will benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program right here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa.